Now we want to start working, uh, if you want, you can start doing designs on your shirt. If you want to go into that much detail, I'm going to kind of show you how I do that. Um, so create a new layer. Pretty much how you'd imagine. I'm going to keep this in the body layer. I'm going to name it uh, Pocket. I'm going to put a little pocket on my shirt. Alright, so grab your pen tool. Let's do like a quick little pocket drawing. Right there. I'm going to have it go off the screen a little bit. I'm going to kind of close that. Alright, now we're going to align it correctly. Um, we'll pocket protector action here. Um, actually, let me start down here. Uh, hmm, how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to start down there. And then I'm going to do like a little mail envelope type fold. Okay, and then kind of like a, oh, got a little bit extreme here. That's what I was going for. I'm not sure how accurate, you know, I'm just go with the previous one. Uh, <laughs> try to go a little bit creative there. Not sure that was entirely worthwhile. Beautiful. All right, go ahead and outline that. Whoa, okay, notice how we still had our shading brush activated. So I'm gonna hit B, and go back to our sketching tool. Uh, you don't have that preset unless you made it, so FYI. And then I'm gonna fill that, I wanna make a selection with that. Oh, somehow I went off, okay. There we go. Uh, pocket underscore fill. And I'm gonna make this color, I don't know what I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna just go to the regular fill. Kind of mess around with the colors here. I'm gonna maybe light. That just looks weird. Huh. Okay. Well, that was a good attempt. <laughs> I'm not sure how great this is. Uh, be. Be creative. Uh, you don't have to put anything on your shirt if you don't want to. I might as well just end up doing like a little TG thing for the guard eye. Um, I'll just quickly do that. I'm not going to put a whole attention to detail. Not like that. <clears throat> Wrong color. Oops. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and I can just go ahead and I'm not naming these. I know, I'm going against my own word, but whatever, I'm going to fill path. I'm being a little bit quick and dirty with this part here, right there. Okay, delete that. Now we're going to go and do the G part of it. We're going to go back up to our outline. Um, okay, there we go. And Okay, great. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our G. Mm, okay, you're not gonna see that part, so. Great. We're gonna fill that with our color. Oh, I was on the same. I was on the same layer. What the heck? I'm getting lazy, you guys. There we go. Fill F10, enter. Great. Move those two together. How am I going to do that? Oh, I need to do these individually, so I'm going to select the outline. Control T with that selected, with that part selected. Move it over. Go back to my fill. Select that. Control T. Move that over so it matches. Good. Now I can just pretty much move them together by selecting both and then moving over there we go you have my thing my my, my initials oh that's ruler great okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and save now <clears throat> and uh, that's pretty much that I think you're pretty much 95 percent done here now we just gotta add some like dynamic shadows from the hair and stuff um so on the hair folder double click on any of the white space if you if you double click on the name you'll 
be brought to the rename dialog. If you click on the empty space, that'll bring up your blending modes. If you go down to drop shadow, um, notice how it gives a shadow to it. It looks really nice. Um, sorry, just admiring the shadow. If you put distance up, it's going to fill onto our face, which is what we want. We want to give it that shadow type look. Um, size, uh, that's pretty much how thick and or dispersed it is. Um, go ahead and create that. Um, full opacity, spread like that. Ooh, it's doing some stuff on the edges there. That's interesting. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to look into that. <clears throat> oh, I think it's our texture. Our texture might have gone off on the edges. Okay, that's what that's what would cause that. Okay, so kind of do that. So um, apparently our texture went over the edges. So let me kind of control T that. Yeah, notice how it went over the edges. So quick fix, just grab our thing, delete that. Delete that. Um, still kind of there. Delete that. Drag that back into place. All right. Oh, something down below too. Um, yeah, so if you put a texture in, make sure you grab all the leftovers there. Leftovers, ew. Put that back in place. All right. So that's that's that. I'm gonna probably bump up the uh, spread a little bit more, or the size. Sorry, just to disperse it so it's not so strong. Great. So that gives my hair a dynamic look. We're gonna go back to save. Uh, my mouth probably needs to have like a little inner shadow. So let me go back to the mouth. So let me go to, this is where organization really shows its best. Um, mouth outline. I'm gonna double click on the whites or the blank space out there and go to inner shadow there. Um, I'm not really seeing too much happening. That's odd. Is it, is it doing its thing? Mouth outline. <clears throat> oh, 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 so this was that. Okay, never mind. Go to your mouth fill. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up. Um, go now. Go to inner shadow. There we go. Kind of create like a little nice little shadow there. Then we come from the top, spread it out a little bit more. Maybe the choke a little bit less. All right. Nice. That that kind of gives it depth. Gives the mouth a little depth. Um, we also want to give the eyes a little bit of depth. So um, we're gonna go to our eyes portion here. Ooh, notice how the texture is a little bit mismatched here. Let's go back to our hair. Uh, texture, control T. Let's kind of move that back into place. Um, there we go. Sorry, tangent. All right, let's go back to our eyes and we're gonna, we're gonna fill uh, the fills. All right, so both the fills right here we're gonna select both of them and we're gonna hit, gonna hit Control E. That's gonna consolidate them. Make sure the fills go down to the bottom. And do the same thing with outlines. Control E. All right. Outlines go on the top, fills go on the bottom. Now on the fills layer, we're just gonna do another inner shadow and get that going. Um, distance, probably that. That choke is gonna be way out. Distance there. And then the opacity. Distance, uh, shadow, opacity, nice. I don't want to give my eyes too much of a sullen look, but that looks good. There's a little bit of a white thing going on here. Let's kind of troubleshoot, see what that is. Yeah, so it's not the highlight, right? No, it's not the shadow. Um, what is that? Oh, it's the texture. Okay, so let's go to our hair fill. Select the outside of that one. Go back to our texture and hit delete. That should that should have gotten rid of most of it. Um. Okay, you know what? Actually, looks pretty good without the outline. Uh, you can kind of experiment with getting rid of the outlines. Actually, um, it's totally up to you. You can actually get rid of the outlines. That kind of gives it like a different look. I kind of like that. It's interesting. Experiment, you guys. Definitely. Um, I'm going to keep it on for now. 
it kind of gives it look a little bold look all right pupils we're gonna add some shading here go to our pupils oh god i don't know what's what here oh these ones were the ones we copied uh for something okay oh those were all the extra ones to make it a little bit more prominent that we did on the outlines so those are all outlines i'm going to consolidate those okay those are a fill those are fill so these two are fills i'm going to consolidate those with Control e those are fills these two are outlines can consolidate those get rid of that all right now on the fill layer we're going to go to our inner shadow we might want to add an inner glow on this one as well no we want to add an inner glow because this one's going to be popping out the eyes are going to be sullen in these ones are going to be kind of popping out there we go awesome all right i'm going to save again um so that's pretty much that i think one last thing is on the shirt we're gonna add some dynamic shadows um so let's go to our shirt our shoulders i named it shoulders for some reason um i think it were sh uh it was shoulders at one point shadows aren't gonna make too much of a difference because you know it's kind of a black thing oh you know what we only did that part so it's gonna make the shadows here interesting Let's go ahead and rotate that. Oh, okay. So if you apparently if you rotate these, it does the, for the whole image. Hence dynamic shadows. Okay. So don't mess with that because it's gonna mess with all your shadows globally. Why did I just? I don't know. Um. What? When I click cancel, it brings up a web browser for some reason. Wow. Ah. Uh, X. <laughs> okay. That's wonderful. Um but forget that. That's shenanigans. Alright. I'm gonna do nothing with that. Okay. And that's pretty much that. Now, last thing, we're gonna add a background. Alright. So this is the this is a real, real fun part. That was a fake fun part when I was talking about shading before. This is the real fun part. So I'm gonna name that background. And I'm gonna grab two images off Google and I'll be right back. All right guys, so the first image we're gonna be grabbing is a starburst image. I like this. This is a universal, just overall great image to have because you can blend it with so many things. And then we're gonna go to the Minecraft items page. We're gonna grab some items. Um, go to the web section here. Minecraft items, Minecraft wiki, great source. All right, we're gonna go down. We're gonna find uh, a really good item that you want to be in your background so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a material oh and we're gonna go to a oh materials um let's go to minerals and then let's find um oh let's go with gold gold is always good I'm gonna drag that one on my desktop Awesome. All right, ready to add these things in. So this is our background layer. We're gonna add the starburst to our background layer. We're gonna resize it so it fits. Center that on my head right there. Uh, we're gonna rasterize it and we're gonna do uh, desaturate it by holding Control Shift U. And then we're gonna hit Control L to bring up the levels. We're gonna make the uh, whites more prominent and the blacks. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. Um, it won't look like that later. We're gonna be blending it with uh, a solid color, which I'm gonna do right now. So you're gonna pick your favorite uh, solid color, which your background is gonna be. Mine's gonna be, uh, green goes really well with kind of red. I'm gonna go with a kind of a turquoise green. Boom. All right, and I'm gonna grab my bucket click anywhere here you didn't see it because it's being covered so it's right there and then uh, I'm gonna bring this back opacity down maybe and then we're gonna mess with the blending modes uh, I'm thinking overlay and soft layer are gonna be good ones again uh, you know what those actually didn't turn out well All right, let's cycle through them by hitting my arrows keys uh, which one looks good 
Those ones look good. Let me do that one. Okay. Um, wrap that up. Bring that. Make that much larger. There. there we go. Center that around my face yet again. Enter. Great. Uh, you can actually blur this now if you want. I might actually do that. So filter, blur, Gaussian. Too much blur. Can't even see it. Maybe that much. Great. You want everything in the foreground to be focused, everything in the background kind of blurred. Although it won't make a difference when you're zoomed out that much. Because it's going to be small, it's a profile picture. Alright, click save. And then what you can do, create a new layer on top of that, and you're going to drag your image on it. And then you're going to resize it. So it's big. And you're going to hit Control T, and you're going to bring it over here. Um, make sure when you're resizing it, make sure... Okay, the selection is there. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, control T, I'm going to kind of rotate. So this is the random stage. You're going to rotate it in a random direction. Control D to get a new one. And you're going to put this one in a different direction, different angle, different size. Uh, that one, Control D, Control T. And then put this one in a totally different orientation. Make that one very big. Like that. Control D, Control T. Make this one really awkward off the corner like that. Control D, Control T. Oh. Yep, and then you put this one, like, totally different angle from all the other ones, uh, like there, and then you make it small or something, and then do that, control D, control T, and then you put this one big, because I haven't done big in a while, and then that looks really big, and then do it like that. Maybe add one on the corner, right there. Boom. And now comes the fun part. We're going to select all those gonna rasterize them we're going to consolidate them by uh, oh, getting me out of there control E all in one layer now and then now we're gonna go to the filter and we're gonna go to blur we're gonna go to radial blur and we're gonna go to zoom we're gonna put it at like 18 or something and now watch the magic happen it may take a while depending on your computer the magic is in progress there we go made them all like Boom. Alright, so I'm not liking green, so I'm gonna ooh. I'm gonna hit control U on the green. I'm gonna mess around with the hue. Ooh, that looks kinda good. Uh, that's kind of the final touch. I like to do the color mixing after. I I, I know the purple's kind of girly, but you, you gotta admit that looks pretty good. <laughs> uh blue is just kind of the standard. I might I might go with blue. Yeah, um, maybe I want to add a drop shadow effect to my um, to my body. So uh, I couldn't do an inner shadow because that would mess with like these edges right here. But if you go to your shoulders fill, double click on the kind of white space there, um, and you go to outer outer or drop shadow, sorry. And then now I kind of bring that up, bring that up, spread size, spread size, spread size spread notice how it's kind of behind and it kind of gives a depth look to my v-neck too which is kind of great and then there you go that looks awesome you guys um so it was a lot of work it's definitely worth it though what do you guys think um so save again um i'm gonna add another quick texture i actually have this one saved on my computer here let me see if i can locate it um uh, one final awesome touch is if you go on google images and you search up textures um, I have one right here, just kind of stored away in my um, files here. Um, if you want to add that, put that right above where your background is. Oop, got to resize it first. This one's already gray scroll, we don't have to worry about it. And we're done! <laughs> yeah, uh, we did all that work just for... No, okay, never mind. Um, you put that above all of your background stuff, and then you rasterize it. Rasterize rasterize okay and then you mess around with blending modes to make it look all cool um and then that's a little bit extreme but you can then do the opacity and then uh let me mess around with the blending modes again oh that one looks kind of cool yeah that one and there you go so if you want to save this go to file 
and save as now we were saving it as a Photoshop file but now if you want to upload it to YouTube you have to click here and go to something like JPEG um, that's like the most compression and then uh, name it profile picture or whatever you want and click save click OK and there you go you have an actual file that you can upload to YouTube because you can't upload PD um, PD whatever whatever we we're using before you can't upload that to YouTube so JPEG will work all right boom we just made an awesome profile picture for you guys hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial if you did and you stayed through all of it uh, thumbs up to you please 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 leave a like for me and share this with your friends I really want this to help as many people out there as possible I know a lot of you guys can't do a really good profile picture and I really hope this helps I hope you stayed through the whole tutorial and it helped you in your endeavors if you do leave a comment below uh, tell me um, something completely random um, just so I can see your new profile picture or something like that um, so yeah thank you guys for staying through the tutorial you guys are awesome uh, hopefully this helped you yet again please like subscribe all the good stuff and See you guys later. Have fun. Now we want to start working. Uh, if you want, you can start doing designs on your shirt. If you want to go into that much detail, I'm going to kind of show you how I do that. Um, so create a new layer. Pretty much how you'd imagine. I'm going to keep this in the body layer. I'm going to name it uh, pocket. I'm going to put a little pocket on my shirt. All right, so grab your pen tool. Let's do like a quick little pocket drawing. Right there. I'm going to have it go off the screen a little bit. Kind of close that. All right, now we're gonna. Oh, somehow I went off. Okay, there we go. Uh, pocket underscore fill, and I'm gonna make this color. I don't know what I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna just go with the regular fill. Kind of mess around with the colors here. I'm gonna maybe light. That just looks weird. Huh. Okay. Well, that was a good attempt. <laughs> I'm not sure how great this is. Uh, be, be creative. Uh, you don't have to put anything on your shirt if you don't want to. I might as well just end up doing like a little TG thing for the guard eye. Um, I'll just quickly do that. I'm not going to put a whole attention to detail. Outline that. <clears throat> Wrong color. Oops. I'm not sure how accurate. You know, what? I'm just go with the previous one. Uh, <laughs> try to go a little bit creative there. Not sure. That was entirely worthwhile. Beautiful. All right. Go ahead and outline that. Whoa. Okay. Notice how we still had our shading brush activated. So I'm gonna hit B. And go back to our sketching. Uh, you don't have that preset unless you made it so FYI and then I'm gonna fill that I want to make a selection with that align it correctly um, well, pocket protector action here um, actually let me start down here uh, hmm, how am I gonna do this okay I'm gonna start down there and then I'm gonna do like a little mail envelope type fold Okay, and then kind of like a, oh, got a little bit extreme here. That's what I was going for. 